This upcoming draft is very crucial for the Golden State Warriors. Even though the Warriors are in the finals and can very well win it all, they do have some weaknesses. They could use some more depth at center and could use some better backups. Additionally, many of the Warriors' role players such as Kevon Looney, Damian Lee, and Otto Porter Jr. are set to hit free agency, so it makes sense for the Warriors to draft at those positions in case they can't keep those guys. So in this video, let's break down 5 prospects the Warriors should consider with the 28th pick. The first prospect the Warriors should consider with their 28th pick is Walter Kessler. Kessler is a legit 7-footer who most recently played for Auburn. His skill set isn't special, but he does what's required for a modern big man. He's a great shot blocker where his 7'5 wingspan makes him extremely tough to finish over and he also leverages that size well on the glass where he's a great rebounder averaging 13 boards per 40 minutes this past season. On offense, he doesn't space the floor, but he's a terrific finisher, and it doesn't always have to be a dunk because he's comfortable using hook shots and floaters when he can't throw it down. The Warriors are a great team, but they could use some more size. The Warriors' lack of size has hurt them a bit in the finals when going up against great rebounding bigs like Robert Williams. James Wiseman, in theory, should be the Warriors' center of the future, but he's been injured for most of the past two years, and when he did play his rookie year, he was still very raw. Additionally, the Warriors starting center Kevon Looney is set to hit unrestricted free agency and with the way he's played in the playoffs, he's due for a pay raise. With that lack of stability at the center position, the Warriors would be wise to take Walker Kessler if he's there at pick 28. Another prospect the Warriors should consider is Kennedy Chandler, a 6 foot point guard out of Tennessee. Chandler is a quick guard with a nice handle that gets to the rim at will and also finishes very well. The Warriors could still use a good backup point guard behind Steph. Golden State thought they were landing a good future point guard in Nico Mannion, but he was disappointing and decided to go play for Italy last year. Chandler is a solid playmaker where he knows how to use his ability to get into the paint and draw multiple defenders to find the open man. Chandler shot well from deep, hitting 38% of his threes, but a huge red flag is that he only shot 60% from the free throw line, and free throws tend to be a good indicator of shooting prowess at the next level. But the potential to be a very good floor general at the next level is definitely there. In order for Kennedy Chandler to raise his draft stock, he needs to get in the gym and spend countless hours working on his free throws. If you also want to improve like Chandler, then you need to join Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. As a YouTuber, I'm always trying to improve my skills, so I joined Skillshare to learn to make better thumbnails. I love Ronnie Hermosa's class on making thumbnails with Canva. His course taught me many strategies on how to create enticing thumbnails on Canva, and clearly this thumbnail came out well since you guys decided to click on it. Say you want to become a software engineer. Skillshare has classes on coding. Point is, Skillshare has tons of courses in a wide range of categories. The first 1,000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So don't wait. Skillshare is the place to be if you want to invest in yourself and grow your career or business. The next prospect the Warriors should consider with their 28th pick is Nikola Jovic out of Serbia. Jovic is the most intriguing international prospect in this draft. He's a big player with perimeter skills rare for a player his size. Jovic is 6'10 with a 7 foot wingspan and he possesses the ability to really shoot it from deep. But he's not just a stretch 4 because he can also handle the ball, attack the rim, and pass the ball really well for a player of his stature. And defensively, he's light on his feet so he can guard perimeter players, but he's very limited as a shot blocker. Jovic may not be available for the dubs at pick 28 as he's projected to go in the mid to late first round, but if he's still there, his upside may be too enticing for the Warriors to pass up. Some of the top players in today's league are big point forwards like Luka and LeBron. The Warriors already have some solid young pieces and adding Jovic to that young core could make it so the dubs dynasty continues to last for years to come. The next prospect the Warriors should consider is Wendell Moore out of Duke. Wendell Moore is your prototypical 3 and D wing, but he has the potential to do a lot more. He's got good size at 6'5 with a 7 foot wingspan, which should allow him to guard at least 3 positions at the NBA level. And at Duke, he was a great on-ball defender where his size, athleticism, and quick hands made him an absolute pest. 
Offensively, he's a knockdown shooter, shooting 41% from three, and he also shoots 80% from the free throw line, which suggests that his hot shooting is likely to translate to the next level. He's got good 3 and D skills, but he can also attack off the bounce and score in the mid-range, and he's also a pretty good passer, averaging 4 assists per game this season. The Warriors are already great defensively, but you can never have enough 3 and D wings. Moore appears to have a high floor, but also a high ceiling if the rest of his offensive game develops. The last prospect the Warriors should consider is another wing player out of Kansas named Christian Brown. He has all the makings to be a good role player at the next level. He shot 39% from three his junior year at Kansas, and he's a career 38% three-point shooter. But he's not just a shooter because he can also put the ball on the floor and drive to the basket, and thanks to his athleticism, he's a very good finisher. And it's not uncommon to see him finish with a monster jam. Defensively, his agility and good size for a wing at 6'7 makes him a pretty good on-ball defender. Like Wendell Moore, Brown should be a good 3 and D player at the next level, but his ability to put the ball on the floor and attack the basket creates optimism that he could do a lot more at the next level. The Warriors have one of the best development staffs in the league, so they could be the perfect organization to help him maximize his potential. Anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Those are 5 prospects that could easily be available for the Warriors at pick 28, and I think all 5 could be a good fit on their roster and contribute to wins. If you want me to continue this series and talk more about prospects the Warriors should draft, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Also let me know in the comments who you would like to see the Warriors take with the 28th pick. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.